Hello and good day, this is Wolfgang from Mewas. Today I want to show you some information what we do when we inspect the used wheel loader for one of our customers. Of course a short video of 5 minutes cannot show everything, but it is to give an understanding which details we check and what our inspectors are doing. And the whole inspection process for a wheel loader is taking approximately one and a half hours. So just to give you an idea what we do. In this case we have a Hyundai wheel loader and basically I want to show what we are doing when we are going to inspect such a machine. So at first the inspector takes the configuration, serial number, does the machine have a CE, how is it equipped, does it have a quick coupler, like in this case, does the machine have a weight load or a scale. So next step is to check the interior of the cab. How does the seat look? Are the controls working? Does the air condition work? What is the hour meter reading? And what is the condition of the windows and wipers and mirrors and all that stuff? When this is done, the inspector starts the engine. Of course, at, before he does, he checks the level of the oil. So when the engine is running, we check the condition of the oil. What is the color of the oil? Is it dark or is it recent? Most important is also to check if there is any kind of water or contamination in the oil. And what is the blow-by? It gives a rough idea about the engine condition. We check, check if there is an air condition compressor, if it is really cooling. So when we know what the condition of the engine, engine is, we keep the machine running and we check the exterior. Do the fenders close? What is condition of stairs and steps? How do the sheet metal look and so on. We check all the chassis and the frames. What is the condition of the lift arm? This is an important part. This we, we call it the egg cross cross member bar. Sometimes it is it is broken here. Then we check the condition of the hydraulic cylinders. Are any cylinders leaking? What is condition of the steering cylinders? Do we have leaks? We check the cardans. We have a look to the steering orbit over here and the, and the brake system. And of course we take information about batteries. What's the condition of the cooler? And then we take the information about tire condition. What is the measurement of the, of the tire tread? Are there any cuts on tires? What is condition of the rims, the, the wheel nuts and so on. What is in this case condition of the coupler? Do we have play? Does the coupler work? We take an information about the bucket size, about the bucket condition. And when all this has been done, we make a functional test with the machine. We check is there play in the, in the steering cylinder pins. Of course, we check the lower and the upper uh, articulation pins just to get information how worn the machine is mechanically and when all this has been done 
our technician makes an operational test. So he's, he's driving the machine forward reverse, changing the gears manual and automatically and testing the brakes. He is driving the machine against the brakes to, to know what the condition of these parts is. Of course, we check the level and the condition of the hydraulic oil. And this is basically what the inspector is doing. He is filling an inspection checklist with all the details. So the customer gets an, an idea how risky it is to purchase the machine. And at the end, the inspector makes a stall test. So driving the machine against, against the torque converter. This, this has to happen when the engine and the transmission is warmed up. And with this test, we get an information about the torque. So finally, we take transport dimensions and the inspector gives a general command about the overall condition of the machine. I hope this helps understanding what Mevas is doing. And if you need to have a machine inspected, get in contact with us to get a quotation for your machine.